Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Ember. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on episode four. And we're about to talk to Kip and find out what exactly it is that he wants us to do. You wanted something? So, so I say is okay then. I guess that's it. We can't be friends anymore. Uh, who are you? We weren't friends to begin with. Great, we found an old guy talking to himself. Who are you? And he goes, what? What are you saying? I say, what? What are you saying? Okay, that isn't exactly what I asked. This guy's obviously unhinged. Let's move on. Okay, that's not what I asked. Make it fast, whatever it is. All right, well, we weren't friends to begin with. Without a doubt, he had it coming. No, 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 not you, him. Who had it coming? Gracchus did. Marley says, do it. Do it. He won't bother us anymore if he's dead. So I said, fine, fine, okay, let me get my shovel. Wait, did you kill someone with a shovel? I'm sorry, old friend, so sorry. I'm so sorry. I should go find Gracchus to see if this crazy old man actually did him harm. Perhaps I shouldn't read too much into this old man's deranged ramblings. You want to find Gracchus? He's home. Should be home. Take this key. It opens the door to his house. I'm not sure why I have it. Well, this does not bode well, I would say. You know, if I were to say anything. Alright, Dr. Kipler's Knot Tying Set. Uh, okay. Well, we got that, I guess. That's that's a thing. Some flour, a barrel with cheese and bread and junk in it, some cabbage, carrots, and a gravekeeper's journal. Okay. The 21st of Kaleo, the 64th year, 5th age. Tending this great cemetery has been the honor of my family for generations, but something seems amiss lately. I hear voices while I work, but I can find no one nearby. I swear I see someone out of the corner of my eye, but when I turn to look, no one is there. Recording my experiences in this journal will hopefully keep me sane. The twelfth of Ross. Same year and age, it looks like. I was weeding today when I saw a tall skinny man dressed in all black at the far end of the cemetery. He just stood there, staring at me, not moving. I called out, but he did not respond. I stood up and waved, still nothing. Fearing that he could be a grave robber, I brandished my dagger and began to move toward him. He instantly disappeared. Just poof, gone. Well, I decided to call it a day. The third of Kyre. On a supply trip down to the City of Light, I asked Sven at the tavern if he had heard anything weird about the cemetery lately. He laughed and said, of course he had heard things. It is a cemetery over a Lightbringer Barrow. Uh, not wanting to sound crazy, I laughed along with him, not mentioning the recent strange events I had been experiencing. He did make me wonder, though, what if all those dead Lightbringers buried in the Barrows are haunting it? The Tenth of Faced. I wish my new friend Marley would eat more. He seems to be wasting away. That is probably why his voice is so hollow. It is good to have company, though, and weird things, uh, and the weird things going on around here don't seem to bother him. The 16th of Talvi. I was chatting with Marley on the porch when old man Gracchus from the house across the way stopped by. He asked me to come over for some ale and to talk about old times. He gave me a strange look when I asked if I could bring Marley. On the 18th of Talvi, two days later, Marley keeps trying to talk me out of visiting Gracchus. I don't know why he doesn't like him. Maybe he resents my longtime friendship with him. The 21st of Talvi. I brought cheese over to Gracchus's house so we could have it with the ale he offered. Marley came along, although he just sat there sullenly. Later he made it clear that he did not want me to have anything to do with Gracchus. Uh, nine days later, on the 30th of Talvi, Marley hates that Gracchus keeps coming by to check on me, even though I turn him away every time. I think it's because Gracchus always ignores him. He wants me to make the old man stop bothering us for good. Well, that's not cool. It sounds like you have quite a lot of little issues here that you're going to have to work through, buddy. All right, let's go take a look. It looks like Gracchus's house is up over there. Let's do a quick rest here. Full party bedroll. Yeah, let's do it. Party in the bedroll. It's fine. Alright, and we got ourselves a 9% XP boost. I'll take it. It's better than a 0%. Hmm. I 
guess we can go through here. Well, we're back in the cemetery. Not sure where Gracchus' house is, then. Is it down southeast, maybe? Well, we could still have some stuff we can sell, mind you, but eh. Yeah, we're near Gracchus' house now. Is this it right here? Yep, this is one of the locked houses, so it would make sense. Alright, let's head on inside. There's an armoire. Splint the rat? Oh, gosh. This must be Gracchus. It looks like he was bludgeoned to death with the shovel. I should head back to Kip and see if I can suss out why he would do this to someone he calls a friend. Well, that can't be good. Uh, red apples, grapes, potions, gold. Sure. Can't take the... no. Some white wine, a green apple, some ale... The Shovel of Doom, eh? Yeah. Gracchus, what's up, buddy? Just gonna steal some of your stuff, because, you know, again, I am a super nice person. That's why I rob you and everyone I see all of the time. Okay, I guess we'll go take another quick jaunt through the cemetery to get back over to Kip and see what this is all about. The dude's clearly a little bit unhinged, as they've already stated. But I guess that's fine, to some extent. We're back in the northern forest. Sup, Kip? Whoa! Where did you come from? I don't want to tell you. Share ale, old stories. How can you ignore my new friend? How, Gracchus, how? Kip, did you kill Gracchus? Oh, old friend, you shouldn't have said that. Oh, no, should not. Now I'm alone. You sound sorry in your own crazy way. I'll leave you out here to live the rest of your days. You seem remorseful, but I fear you will kill again. You must be dealt with. Ah, oh, that's a tough call. Like, obviously, I don't want to be a bad guy. The dude's lost it. He's being haunted by some sort of apparition or something, or so he seems, or he's seeing things he's hallucinating. So... It does seem like a bad idea to leave the dude out here in his crazy, but he's also going to be horribly alone. I don't know! Mercy killing? Marley says you are bad people. Not for- Oh gosh, Marley's a ghost! Sup, Marles? What's going on, bud? Let's get over there. Corin, why don't you come up over here? There we go. Alright, Corin, your job now is to kill Kip. My job is to do the exact same thing. Oh, that didn't feel good at all. Alright, why don't you leap on over there and stop him from doing horrible things to me. Thank you. And then you can actually attack and murder him. While I take out Kip. Double strike of doom. Gotta say, I'm not enjoying getting my butt hit. Killed or kicked or anything. It's not quite fun at all. Kill him! Kill him with hate! Jeez. I feel a little bit bad, but... Sub Marley, the wooden staff of sparks, is mine now. Well, whatever. We were decisive, we made up our minds, and we did something about it. Not everybody could be that decisive. Alright, let's go take a look at the map. Uh, looks like this is all more or less cleared out. We'll double check a few of the little, like, offshoots, but then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna get that quest going on. Stuff seems to be around level 1 to 6 in this area. There seems to be something yellow over here. Is it this wonderful bush? It is. The Scarlet Sage. Alright, we'll head over here. Oh, there's some sort of weird paw village over there. That's interesting. We'll definitely have to go over there and hang out. Let's see what's up. Skeleton, okay. Huh. Oh, there's a bear. Well, I think we can handle a bear. Oh, it's a grizzly bear. That does not look like something we want to handle at all. That had a, an angry skull on its head. I think that would probably end poorly for us. That's what my guess is. I mean, I could be totally wrong. But... It definitely had something different than the normal guys. These are where the spiders were that I killed a bunch of, right? I think so. Alright, we'll head back toward the grizzly bear, but I don't plan to actually fight the bear. 
Okay, I guess that's that. Let's come down here, we'll gather up some stuff off the skeletons. And we'll go visit that encampment that's south of us. Let's see what they have. Maybe they're bear people, I don't know. Oh, they're panther people. They're weirdlings. Weirdings, I guess. Grr. Grr to you too. Uh oh. You are not welcome here. You have a normal face here. What's going on? Uh, who are you? Why are you surrounded by these beasts? Oh, you're just laying down there. Okay, cool. I go where I please. Stand aside. These are not beasts. They are my own flesh. Leave here before I lose my patience. What are you doing way out here all alone? We hunt, we feed, we live. Now please leave our home. I'll be going now. You'll just excuse me. I don't want to cause any problems here. Can, can I use your fire? Is that a thing you'll let me do? No? They do seem menacing, and chances are they could probably own me, so... Gonna play it a little bit cooler. Okay. wonder what's over this way. Lots of exploratory things to do. I'm a fan. Alright, well you know something bad's gonna have to be going on over in this area. Oh yes, of course there is. Isn't there always. Alright, Corrin, you go take care of that guy, we'll take care of this guy. It's going to be fine. Sir. Um, maybe we'll do multi-shot and you can do just some double strike. I feel like I'm not winning this. Well, how about instead of doing that, what if we get you to leap right there? There you go, and then bash him a few more times, and then we'll do a greater heal on to you. Okay, now we're going to be able to do a little bit of multi-shot. There we go. Some work being done, we'll go and we'll face off against the skeleton. We'll come over here, and we'll focus on you with a multi-shot. I think we're going to get corn to back away over to this spot right here. And then attack. I don't know if we're close enough. We're gonna try it. We move here and heal you. All right. Let's see if we can't get a multi shot off and a double strike. Okay, we took another one. Pain is life. I agree with that sentiment, Captain Murgle. You are missing quite a bit of your uh, armor there. It's not looking good for you, buddy. But if you can take him out, and we can double strike this fool down, I think we'd be looking okay. Can someone heal me? Somebody could heal you, but do we really want to? The answer is no. No, we really don't. Alright, we survived. He is on fire, which is not good. How long is he on fire for? No longer. Okay. I was a little worried there. I'm like, am I going to have to like throw a heal on him or like drink a potion? Because I don't want to do that. Alright, this is where we rest. Jeez. That was rough. That was a bit rough. Alright, we got five more uh, XP boost. Cool. Alright, we have a skeleton there who had a crude wooden great shield. Bunch of other stuff. We're just finding crude weapons and things at this point. Ooh, a wooden crossbow. My eyes has got big guys and gals. I know you couldn't see it, but I can assure you they got large. Alright, let's take a look. quick gander at that. A multi shot is what we'll be losing, but how much stronger is the crossbow? It's actually quite a bit less. So it's average damage is 27, this average damage is 40. Yeah, there's no way that's a comparison. Okay. But still, it's cool to know that they have additional uh, weapon types. I'm a fan of that. Oh, we survived that fight. Could have been a lot harder. Could have been a lot easier. Interesting spread of enemies. I don't know. Let's come over here and see if we can't loot some more skeletons and just kind of find stuff. Somebody told me that the um, the gems are actually sellable because they're considered treasure and there's no use for them. Now, I'm not saying they're wrong, but I don't know yet. I'm still going to hold on to them until I 100% confirm that. Just my own playthrough. 
You know, I want to see it from my own eyes. Ooh, some raw ham. That's interesting. Like, I'm sure, I'm 100% sure that that is an accurate statement. But, I still want to see myself here. Ooh, some half plate. That's going to be pretty good, I think. Alright, we have seven pages. Journey to the Sea of Ghosts 1. We're going to actually take that and we'll read it another time as well. I know we have another book we were going to read, but we already kind of read up on the crazy guy Kip. So I feel like, eh, probably don't need to read anything else right now. Alright, we're going to open up our inventory. He's got plate armor of the spider, so he doesn't need half plate armor. He gets five more armor, but he loses one vitality and he loses his ability to leap. I don't think that's the play. It's not terrible, but I just don't think it's the play that we want to go with. Okay, well, I feel like we accomplished a little bit there. I think at the start of the next episode is when I'm going to break out and do the reading of the, the first book that we grabbed that we skipped. There's something in the woods over here I want to go and get. I think it's some of the... Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. There's a crude copper cleaver, some firewood. Is this like an abandoned house or something? It looks like it could possibly be... Oh, there's probably bandits on the road over here? Let's uh, go and meet up with them. And take them out of the fight if we can. Are oh, you a man under there? Oi, look what we have here. Some little forest critters lost in the woods, are ye? Be careful, some forest animals have sharp teeth. Oh, we have a live one here. Have at it. Have at it indeed. Alright, hold, hold on. We're gonna get we're gonna get corn to leap over here. We're gonna get we're gonna just completely wreck these guys. It's gonna be glorious. Oh! Okay. Gotta say, did not expect that. That was a new one to me. Get over there. Alright. Let's get the camera recentered here. Let's uh, use multi strike and double strike. Very nice. Very nicely done. You berserk yourself. Well, kudos to you. I think we're 100% fine right now. He's blocking most of it. The damage isn't really coming out super strong. We don't really have to do anything. We don't even have to waste a lot of energy or ammo or anything. Just kind of wreck him. I still think we should be able to steal the horse once we're winning these fights. Alright, we're going to throw out one heal here. And down he goes. Alright, that was an easy fight. I shall need to sharpen my blade after that tussle. It was a little bit scary at the beginning. Rolf decided to do like a ninja teleportation thing. He was all old school turtles. Ninja, vanish! And I was like, oh, wait a minute, oh no! But you know what? We recovered. It's fine. Why is that shiny? I don't know. Well, I, I guess we gathered everything up from over here. Oh, there's something going on in this area. I guess we'll come over here and deal with this. What the heck is wrong with that wolf? Whatever, that wolf is gonna... Maybe... Re or I don't... I don't know that any of this is a good idea. So over here, Corrin, why don't... Why don't we get Corrin to... Leap, like, right up in there. And be like, ah, there you go. Start attacking that guy. Corrin, why don't you attack the guy behind you, since you did not actually start attacking anyone when I really hoped you would. I feel slowed all of a sudden. I don't know why. Run now, and we'll call it easy. All right, we're gonna attack you. Still not 100% thrilled with the uh, combat uh, stuff that we are seeing here, but it's all right. My training is paying off. Take out that wolf, and we have done so. Take out that spider, and we'll take him down pretty simplistically. Gonna go after the wolf, the spider, the wolf, the spider, the spider, the wolf, the wolf, spider, what? I got nothing. We're gonna get it all though, no big deal. And we said good day, sir! 
All right, so we crushed everybody. Do you Not a big deal. We can't now? talk to Corin ever. Some spider silk here. Lots of wolf pelts. So if we ever manage to figure out how to do leatherworking, we will be set up like super big time. All right. Let's come over here. There should be some more uh, Scarlet Sage laying on the ground. And let's go get ourselves closer to the um, quest marker over here. Sorry, guys. I was looking at the... Uh, I want the horse. I was looking at the time to make sure I didn't go over. I have a tendency to get absorbed into the games that I've been playing as of late. And oftentimes I look over and I'm like, oh, we're 35 minutes in. And I wanted to end it about 10 minutes ago. Awkward. That's a, it's a tale. It's a good tale to tell, guys, because that means that the games that we're playing we're really enjoying and having fun with. So it's definitely one of those problems you want to have. There's other times where you're playing games and you're like, all right, it's probably been 20, 25 minutes. You look over, it's like nine in, and you're like, oh, God, what have I done? Why am I doing this? It's awful. So those are the, those are the reverse dream, as it were. Definitely don't want to go down that road, but it's okay. All right, over here there is some sort of... I don't know, violent thing going down. Some wolves that need to be murdered. They're attacking some sort of rodent, I think. Alright, okay, we're launching our very first attack onto him. I'm gonna move over here, I'm gonna move you over to that guy. This isn't so hard! And good old Murgle's gonna do that. We're gonna put the greater heal on our boy. I don't feel very good! I don't feel very good! You feel better now? See, I saved you from not feeling very good. Why? Because I'm a superhero. That's right. Superhero. Captain Murgle to the rescue! I don't know. It's not really. It's fine. Alright, simple and easy. Grab up Anyone some wolf pelts. Yeah, but I don't want to use them on you. You don't seem like you're worth it. Alright, let's take a quick look at the map. We're pretty close to where the quest is. Yep. There's a servant, a bunch of servants here. Some random firewood, which we're gonna take. Oh my gosh, we can have cake? Yep. Oh god, he started chopping a tree down. It scared me. Are you gonna cry now? <laughs> Is he gonna actually cut the... No, I thought it, maybe he was gonna actually cut the tree down. It's Matt and Steve. Let's nice go over here. Costume. I'm trying to work here. It's bad enough that I have to listen to these buffoons all day. What about you, servant? Make it fast, whatever it is. I can't believe they made us lug all this stuff out here. This is nothing like camping when I did it as a boy. Or like he did when he was a boy. Alright, there's ink and blank scroll. Well, you know what? You're gonna lose all your stuff to me. What's up, Matt? Lost a bet, perhaps. I thought camping was going to be more exciting than this. Why did we have the servants bring all things out into the woods if it was just going to be... Uh, just as boring uh, as back home. I'm not sure this is camping. I thought the same thing. I read that camping was supposed to make one feel exhilarated. But I'm just as bored as before. We should have brought more of our things with us. I think you brought too much. That's right. We brought food and furniture with us. Nothing to play with. Maybe we should send a seven to find a new toy for us. I don't think toys are part of camp. Oh, what a marvelous idea. Here's a servant now. Let's ask him. Wait, me? I'm not a servant. Oh, yes, you, servant. Please find us something to entertain us. Uh, sh sure. Oh, please do be quick. If I die of boredom, should this... I may die of boredom. Should this continue any longer? Okay. Let's check our quest log, shall we? The Hobby Brothers acquire Merzmer's Mer Book of Riddles. Okay. Oh, way over there. Wonderful. Okay, well, we could do that, or what we could do instead is take a nap. Yep, sleep for eight hours. It's happening. Ah, eat the mortar boost. All right, well, I guess we'll venture off into the woods. We'll get closer to our um, our new mission as servants here, and we'll see where that puts us. I don't know what we're rolling out on. I think this might be something that's scary. Is that another grizzly? That is a regular bear. That is one that I am willing to take on. All right. 
Oh, he hits pretty hard. Let's double strike you up a little bit there. Maybe one more double strike. And then we'll throw one heal once you're under... A little bit further under half. Throw a heal now. And your victory is complete. Well done. I never thought Monkhood would be this bloody. Alright, so we took out that. Looks like there's more stuff in here. I assume this is like a bear cave. Like we're gonna regret coming in here or something. There's another bear. There's a bear cub. Huh. There seem to be a lot of things over here that are not gonna be nice to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bear cub. And continue to skirt the outskirts here. I don't know. Okay, another bear cub. Well, I think we can take on this little weird encampment of bears. I don't see why not. You're not a grizzly or anything, right? So, let's go and do battle with some bears, I guess. Fight for all of Radiance! Oi, fight for all of Radiance! Also for humanity! We do not love the bear kind! Alright, let's take this guy out. Come on. You don't have to die. Just finish him. There it is. Alright. Accept your healing, a good Corrin. We shall loot him and have his bear meat and all sorts of stuff like that. Alright, what I think we're gonna do is consumables now. We're about out of time, but we're going to go a little bit further. We're close to leveling up as well, which is sweet. Uh, we'll give you some gamey cooked venison. No, I don't want to do that yet. Half health, rolls full health. Mm, small amount of energy, cake, restore some health. Yeah, let's do that. It did not restore very much. We'll eat some apples. Alright, now your bowels are going to be turned to liquid because you just ate a whole bunch of fruit. It's not going to be great. Like, you're going to immediately... You're going to immediately regret that decision. Alright. Let's see if we can't get the bear to be upset. You going to come over and play? Yeah? Okay. That bear seems pretty intent on attacking me. Like, I'm slightly concerned here. I'm not sure why he's so angry toward me. Yeah, he definitely did not. Alright, here we go. We'll get some double strike going on, and we'll get some multi shot going on, we'll get some combos going on. It's gonna be great. I both, but I yeah, you're getting wrecked a little bit there, buddy. I won't last much longer. All right, we're gonna keep the greater heals coming out onto you. So hopefully, we take that bear out now, before the bear cubs maul you to death. All right, we dealt with one. We can go with another quick heal here, and that should keep you. Me. Should keep you alive. Alright, let's enjoy- oh, oh no, Corrin, what's going on buddy? I threw the heal on you, how are you not alive? Oh, he went down like a sweet muffin, that is not good. Alright, well we will have to finish off the bear cub. It's alright, he's allowed to take a dirt nap every once in a while. Here we, go again. we are accepting of this. Yeah, you should have kind of not died there. I don't know if maybe my heal mit. I don't know what happened there. All right, we're gonna rest again. I know it's a little bit sad that we have to rest so quickly. I feel like we're able to abuse this a lot. We don't have to use a lot of potions or anything else of the nature, but eh. Two percent added. Eh, whatever. We shall eventually clear out all the bears from the considerable nasties. Starting to dodge. Okay. Pain is life, my friend. I can live with that. Doing a little bit of murder here. 
Take that bear out. Take it out. Kill it. Run to heal. Finish off the bear. Heal me. Thought I did heal you. How does you keep not healing? Oh, there. Jeez, what happened? All right, this time we can most Thank assuredly God, use some gamey cooked venison, and it's gonna be great. I feel like we're not gaining much in the way of experience either. It's a bit disappointing, but we'll see. All right, I'd like to finish off the little bear army things here before we break off the episode. I'm going a little bit longer than I want to, but it's gonna be okay. I feel like this is still worth it. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna take on you and you. We can and always it's talk going to be glorious. Maybe I'm brave after all. Yeah, you can fight a bear cub. That's mildly impressive. All right, the bear is angry. I can definitely see it in its eyes. It's not happy at all that we're owning its face or that we murdered its baby. Corin is stunned. Yeah, he is. Take him out. Alright, here comes the big heal, and we should be able to finish him before we need any more healing. One more double strike, and boom. That's it. Are there any more? I hope not. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, well, stick around the channel. There will be more to come. There might be a couple of days break between this episode and the next. We'll see. I'm trying to put out a decent amount of these as I'm also continuing to put out a bunch of other stuff. A whole bunch of new games have come my way as of late. I'd say in the last week, probably like nine new games have come my way. Uh, and several of them I actually want to cover, so we'll see how that all plays out. Anyway, folks, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.